One week to go from Election Day and several key races still too close to call, especially in key states like Pennsylvania and Georgia. Although, if you read the New York Times, Democrats have the lead <laughs> in literally every single race. It's, it's remarkable. Uh, it's no surprise mm -hmm. to read it there. For more to discuss, is let's welcome in senior fellow, American Conservative Union, Mercedes Schlatt. Mercedes, good morning. Uh, so the president heads to Florida today to campaign for Democratic candidates. And a state that's no longer considered a battleground, does this have um, anything to do with DeSantis's maybe running in 2024? Well, I, you know, it, we'll, we'll see what DeSantis decides to do. I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, DeSantis is obviously a strong force in helping these Republican candidates. We saw, for example, Ron DeSantis up in New York with Lee Zeldin in Long Island, New York, and it was a, a thou, over 1,000 people there. So uh, he brings a lot of enthusiasm with him wherever he goes. And the more we can get our superstars out there, uh, including President Trump, who's obviously uh, doing a rally in Pennsylvania on Saturday. I think it's a boost for our Republican candidates. But look, at the end of the day, it's because the Democrats are in the weakened position, and God only knows they want to put Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in the basement and keep them there through Election Day. Yeah, the Politico, with some reporting out, basically saying the Senate is, is going to be too close to call either way. We'll find out. Uh, Wednesday, we know that race in Georgia. If one of the two candidates doesn't get 50 percent, at least 50 percent, it goes to a December 6 runoff. Um, Herschel Walker has been under attack. He put out a statement this morning basically saying that the Democrats are, are after him uh, any way they can think of uh, to try to, to, to give Raphael Warnock the lead in that state. What are you hearing out of Georgia this morning? Look, first of all, we have to remember that in all these battleground states, this, especially for the, the Senate seats, uh, Republicans are being outspent sometimes three to one, four to one. I mean, it's really impressive what's happening there in terms of the numbers. But let's be real. Fundraising numbers is only they're, it's only going to get you too far. In the case of Georgia, Herschel Walker will win or will end up in a runoff election. I think that he, the momentum is on his side. He obviously was able to uh, give a very good performance at the debate, which I think boosted his numbers. And, you know, running alongside with Governor uh, Kemp helps considerably because that uh, gives more momentum on the Republican side. And let's just go into the fact that at the end of the day, the issue that's going to matter most for Republicans and what Republicans have been campaigning on, these candidates, it's been about the economy. And when you're looking at the latest Wall Street Journal poll, it shows that the white suburban women, they're shifting towards Republicans. Latinos right. mm -hmm. shifting towards Republicans. Democrats are in trouble because they ended up focusing their whole messaging on abortion and it backfired. And Mercedes, yeah. those were primarily Biden voters, at least in 2020. Is that accurate? Right. Yeah, I mean, I think that Biden has lost considerable support in his coalition and the Democrat coalition. The white suburban women, which normally have voted Republican, they shifted uh, to Biden in 2020, uh, I think are coming back to the Republican Party. They're upset with the economic issues. They're upset with the crime issue. They feel that Biden is simply not doing enough and the Democrats are not doing enough. Just in this poll, it showed that only 27 percent approved of the economic policies that the Biden administration and the Democrats have supported. These are dismal numbers for the Democrats, and it's why you're seeing this sudden shift. And I think for the Hispanics, it's looking at these pro-family uh, issues. It's the fact that mm -hmm. they don't want their children indoctrinated. They don't want this woke agenda that the left is pushing, and they've simply had it. That's why you're seeing the shift towards the Republican Party, and it's why you're going to see these Republican candidates at the end of the day win the, not only the House, but the Senate. Yeah, you saw what happened in Virginia with those women voters, those moms. Um, we saw what happened. So I do want to quickly move on to the um, Paul Pelosi attack. Suspect David DePepe was charged with attempted murder and attempted kidnapping of a public official. Uh, the assault now described by lead prosecutor as politically motivated. Do you think this will impact midterms with only a week left? You know, first of all, I think it's just so tragic what has happened. Obviously, this attacker, mentally unstable, uh, should be pro obviously be prosecuted for these crimes. And really, you don't want any threats to come, not to our Supreme Court justices, not to our political leaders. That's simply unacceptable. And we all need to unite uh, in ensuring the safety of our public officials. You know, with that being said, I just think that there's all these big issues that are basically surrounding families right now. You know, yeah. around the yeah. kitchen table, what you're seeing, it's about the economy. It's about crime. It's about uh, lack of border security. It's about these woke issues. That's what's impacting our families right now. 
Um, and I think those are going to be the issues that are going to drive the midterm elections. All right, Mercedes, yeah. good seeing you again. We'll leave it there. Great Seven days to go. Uh, we're now in the home stretch, finally. Mercedes Schlapp, thank you. Thank you. No crooked, crooked establishment. establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.